All right, we've got two bikes here. We've got a standard mountain bike and we got an e-bike. This e-bike was specifically designed to be a dirt jumper, so that's what I bought it for. Today we're gonna to put them head to head, go down to the train park and see which one's better off-road. I'm rooting for the mountain bike just because it's lighter weight and probably gonna be a lot more fun. It's nice having power, but this thing is heavy, right? Over at the terrain park, half of it has a little bit of slope and the other half is completely flat. So that's where the e-bike has the upper advantage because it's easier to get up to speed. But realistically, the lighter weight's better and you just gotta pedal a little bit harder. But enough talking, let's head on down to the terrain park, see some results and decide a conclusion. Which one's better for off-road? I thought I broke something on that last jump. This tire went out. This thing is always blowing tires, probably because it's so heavy, so it's just kapow, you know? Anyhow, it's pretty obvious that the mountain bike is definitely better than the e-bike. I mean, this thing performs all right, but everything is just so much easier with a mountain bike because it's just so much lightweight. So, yeah, this thing is nice for speed, but I'd rather pedal a little bit harder and be able to manage the bike a little bit easier in the air, stuff like that, you know. So let's just finish this session off with the mountain bike. Alright, in conclusion, the mountain bike totally went by default, obviously, because this thing couldn't even complete the trials. But also because the mountain bike is just so much more lightweight and easy maneuver and just more fun. See, this thing would be nice in only like one scenario, which would be over there when it's totally flat ground and I had to pedal the mountain bike a bunch just to clear that gap. I wouldn't have had to do that with this, but it's also just a situation where even then it's awkward in the air it's, it's heavy it's a big heavy slug in the air you know you get the mountain bike in the air it's you're floating right so you have to work harder to get to the jump with a mountain bike but it's so much easier to do the mountain bike in the air vice versa the electric bike is very easy to get up in the air and once you're in there you just feel kind of awkward so it kind of defeats the purpose i'd rather work harder with the mountain bike and have fun than not work so hard and feel kind of awkward in the air you know and even then it, it doesn't in any scenario work because the tires keep popping because this thing weighs 50 pounds so it's really like it's in between a dirt bike and a mountain bike a mountain bike be nice and lightweight but you got to work for it and a dirt bike which is big and heavy but you don't got to work for it you just got to pull it throttle so it's kind of like a loss loss situation with this thing especially with the blown tire i mean I don't regret getting it because it's nice getting around the nursery, but not whenever I blow tires all the time. So I guess I really just need to fix this tire and stop dirt jumping it, which is ironic because that's what it's designed to do. But I don't know, at least I have some purpose for it. It has been a good bike. It's been tough. I leave it out in the rain all the time. So as far as functionality works good. So yeah, overall mountain bike takes the win. This thing's cool, but I kind of want to put a throttle on it and just cruise, you know. Yeah, I've seen some people do some modifications of these bikes, put a little throttle on it, and they just cruise around, you know. So maybe that's the future of this bike. Anyhow, it's been a good day, Shredditch, and I'll see you dudes later.